and welcome to a Vampy Games tutorial. Um, this time I am starting a new game project. Um, I'm going to be using a program called Flash, Adobe Flash CS3 Professional. Right, um, so we'll start off by creating a new Flash file in ActionScript 2. Oh, let's show frame. So, choose the oval tool and choose black and create the character okay this is going to be our character but I think he's a bit boring as a black dot so let's add an eye for him just one eye something like that doesn't matter and we convert this to a movie clip by convert to symbol let's call him let's give him a name so the adventures of fred registration point center now double click on him um um add insert new layer and call this one up here actions and this one down here fred Okay. Um, click on Fred's frame up here. Click on it and press F6 twice. Now call the first frame still. Call the second one left and call the last one right. At the top here, give it some actions. We can either press F9 or choose actions by right clicking. And let's just have a stop frame. And this is it. So this is our main idea. Right, for still. So click on still. And click on the eye. Now keep hold of the alt button, ALT. And just drag it over until you're happy, like so. So we have two eyes. Now, go to the next one. We can leave that because it's left. But this one, which is right, highlight the entire thing, modify, transform, flip horizontal. Now, um, convert left to a movie clip. Fred left. And convert this guy to a movie clip. Um, unless you're doing some animation of him when he's standing still, you don't actually need to do anything for still, but you could like have him change his skin colour or whatever. Um, so left and right. Now, double click left and choose free transform tool. Now press, click on the frame and click F6. And then you have to rotate Fred a bit. Then press F6 again, rotate Fred. Press F6, rotate Fred, press F6, rotate Fred, press F6, rotate Fred, press F6, rotate him a bit more. But if you notice, these two are the same, so he's going to stop a bit. So we're going to remove this frame here. Now, double click off this and go to right now double click on this and go free transform and move forwards a bit rotate him press f6 rotate hold on nope that's all wrong press f6 first then you have to rotate him otherwise it all mucks up and you have to put an extra frame at the end or insert one at the start which can be annoying but just keep going basically until you think he's gonna look good and click um, no the last frame remember remove this we always remove the last frame because if you have two that look the same he's gonna stay there for a bit so he's gonna be moving while he's standing still 
So now, this is all we need for our character, okay? The next thing, right click on him, choose actions. Right. Um, I've got a um, code here. I'm just going to put that in here. Um, if you'd like to know how it works, it's pretty simple. Um, if key is down, key dot right. So if you press the right key, this dot underscore x plus equals 12 means he'll go 12 pixels at a time right. Go to and stop right. So that's, remember, right is the frame where he's rolling rightwards. So, if you press control and enter, you have the character here. If you press the right key, he will roll right. If you press the left key, he will roll left. Um, this is all I'm going to do on tutorial one. But next time, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do an inventory for Fred.